Hi everyone, it's Faith, and this video is way overdue, but I had technical difficulties. For whatever reason, my sound on my camera was not working. I couldn't figure it out, and now it seems to be fine, and I didn't do anything, so I have no idea. Hopefully this video works because I've tried to film this three times, and I've had to delete them because the sound was all goofy. But um, in my test, it sounded okay, so hopefully we can get through this one. I also am getting over a cold, so if I sound a little nasally and look a little puffy, <laughs> that is why. But um, I have a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna try to film this for you. This video, I just wanna kind of do a middle of the year review on where we are in homeschool, even though we're over the middle of the year at this point. Um, but I feel like you know, it's been long enough in the school year that I kind of have an idea of how things are going and what's worked for us and what hasn't kind of thing. And this is more for my own record than anything else, but if anybody wants to watch it, that's what's gonna be in this video. I started out the school year using My Father's World, God's Creation from A to Z. This is a um, advertised as a complete kindergarten curriculum. And I wanted to love this so much, you guys, but I just didn't. It did not work for us at all. I abandoned it quite quickly. Um, I originally was using this for the first couple of weeks and realized that it was just not enough for where my son was. It's very, very basic. I would almost consider it more of a preschool type of curriculum than a kindergarten. It's um, like, this is the letter A. It makes the A ah sound, which is fine. But my son already knew that. So we weren't doing that portion of the curriculum, which was pretty much all of the curriculum. Everything that was left, it took us about five minutes to get done. And it was not going into really any other subjects. Like it would touch on math maybe once a week maybe sometimes you'd go a couple weeks without it and it was very basic like count these three pennies and, <laughs> and that was it it wasn't it just was not enough at all um what i did like about it is that it's broken up into um let me see if i can find it here it's broken up into unit type of studies so there's a different theme for each week let me see if i can show you here we go so there is a different theme for each week. And um, so I kind of stuck with that. I stuck with the theme of the week, but then I would just kind of get my own resources from the library, um, online, whatever, and just kind of build off of that. And it does have a nice book list in the back uh, for the different themes, and it gives you, uh, I do like the book list in here because it tell it breaks it up for you to like um, like here for for kangaroos it has some books here but then which are like fiction cute stories and then it has like actual information books about kangaroos here so it breaks it down for you so you know whether what kind of book it is so you kind of know what you're looking for um, but yeah, we so I I kind of went with their themes for a little while, but then I completely broke away from that. Even um, I might use some of this for my daughter, but I'm really I probably won't. I'm gonna be honest, I probably won't. It just did not work for our family the way that I teach and the way my kids learn. It just it was not a good fit. I will not be repurchasing it. I've heard great things about their history um, for like the next level. I kind of wish I would have got that instead. I think maybe that would have went a little bit better, but this just kind of ruined it for me and we are not using My Father's World anymore. So what I got instead of My Father's World was a program called READ. It is a PDF program by the Crafty Classroom. So you purchase the PDF for $25 and then you have to print it out yourself. So if you don't have a way to print it, then you're gonna have to pay to print it. So that's something you wanna be mindful of because it is a lot of paper. It's a stack like this. I'm not even joking. It's a lot, like five inches of paper. Um, I have, yeah, I have two four inch binders. So it's, it's a lot of paper. It is a worksheet based curriculum, but it's not bad. Um, my kiddo does not really like to sit and do worksheets. It's definitely not his favorite thing, but the way that this is structured, it's a lot of playful type of worksheets. It'll be like a maze or a word search. 
um, little puzzles, little short stories for them to read and then kind of break it down to do like reading comprehension sort of thing. And it's it's very simple. So it'll be like at words one week. So all week long you will work on at words, A-T, putting different letters in front. And then the next week you might work on, uh, I don't know, et words or something like that. And it's gradually you're building onto it and then you're, it, the words get bigger and bigger. There are sight words mixed in with that. That for so about five weeks, I would say. And then it'll be a week of blends. So like B L F L s l whatever those kind of things and you'll work on those for a week and then you'll put them all together and it comes with like word bingo and all these different things i really really like the program i'm planning on using it with my daughter as well it's just been really fun and easy for me to teach and easy for them to grasp so um it's been good even though it's not his favorite because it's the worksheets as far as reading goes it makes sense and it's working for us. So I'm going to be using that again. So since I scratched my father's world, I basically am starting from scratch <laughs> at building a curriculum for him. So um, I mentioned what we were using for reading. For geography, I found a free program on Pinterest. I will um, do my best to link it down below for you guys. It is around the world. It is a story-based geography program and I really, really like it. I build off of what she has, but it gives me a good baseline to kind of work from. So it's the way I do it and the way I believe that she has it designed is it's once a week you would do geography and it's a different country. I have these little cute passports and we use those. I got them on Amazon and then she has on her program um, maps that you can print out and coloring pages and then so each week there's a different story or fable from a different place around the world and then there's a craft attached to that and it's just been really fun and it's it's like I said it's just a good baseline because I don't always stick with exactly what she says as far as the craft even and things like that but it's a really good jumping off point if you don't really know where to start for geography for little kids and you don't want to get like super super into it it's um it's really fun so we've been um having fun we learn how to say hello in the different languages we figure out what the um main language they speak in different countries that we've learned about has been and it's they really enjoy it I enjoy teaching it so um that is fun we're probably gonna stick with that um for next year maybe I haven't decided yet <laughs> what we're gonna do but um we may stick with that and just go into more countries I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm gonna do for next school year but it's going well. Um, I don't consistently do it every week. I try to, but after coming back from Christmas was really hard. Like I feel like we just never did get back in the swing of things completely. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. For history, we have just been doing a president study where we're learning about each president one at a time and kind of going through. I get a few books from the library. We watch a few videos about them. Um, and we're just trying to slowly memorize the presidents in order. And it's been going really well so far. And some of the facts that they can remember are crazy. We play like little trivia games. I have little president flashcards. And it's been, it's been really fun. I have a little intruder. You can say hi, but then you... I hi! Gotta, okay, let me finish it, okay? Go on. Let me finish it. Another thing that we have been enjoying this school year is our piano lessons. We've been doing them online for free with HoffmanAcademy.com. It's really cool. You can sign up your kids. You can make different profiles for each child. They have a free... Um, way you can sign up or you can have a paid subscription where you get to like print off sheet music and things like that. We're just doing the free um, version right now because my kids are little and I'm not sure how into it they're going to be or whatever. As far as like gym and PE kind of thing, he does have gym at co-op like I mentioned. Uh, he also played soccer. He did swimming lessons. He did a ninja gym class. Uh, he hasn't really found his mojo yet as far as where he wants to be or what he wants to do but he is definitely physically active so that's not an issue he's getting that box checked off for science like i mentioned we're doing that in a, as part of our co-op we typically do it here as well um and i do kind of stick with like the my father's world style as far as i pick a unit we learn about a certain subject and then we kind of move on to something else. So um, it just depends on what we're doing. We just finished up like Arctic animals and snow because we have a lot of snow here in Ohio. So that's what we have been 
working with because that's what we had at our disposal. So one of the beauty of homeschooling, you know you can change your curriculum based on what's available to you. So that'll be really fun this summer. We're gonna do butterflies and um, probably dissect a flower and things like that, or this spring rather. But uh, he loves science, I love science, we love the experiments, I love to teach it, so that's easy for me. I don't really have to put in a lot of effort um, to figure that out because it's just something that we both enjoy. So that's not that's not our hard subject, that's easy to get done. For math, I bought a first grade math book. Eh, it's okay, it's not my favorite. Um, we're still working on, um, memorizing math facts it's not either one of our favorite subjects so it's not something I enjoy teaching I definitely am gonna look at a different curriculum for next year um, what I have is fine but it's not it doesn't go into detail of explaining how to do things or why it's just kind of here do these math problems so it leaves me the responsibility of explaining it to him and helping him understand it and I'm just not great at that when it comes to math because I just don't like math. <laughs> so um, I'm looking at a Math for a Living Education for next year um, by Masterbooks. I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. I'm like 90% sure that that's what we're going to go with unless I find like an online program that really blows me away. Um, that's kind of where I am with what I'm thinking there, but he's doing well. He's getting it done and he's doing first grade math So I'm not worried about him being behind or anything like that, but we're just not having fun with it We're not enjoying it. It's it is labor for us to get through that one It's probably the hardest subject for us to get done that and handwriting. He does not like the handwriting He would really really rather not it is included in our reading program that we are doing so he's getting it done, but not his favorite. I think that kind of covers what we've done so far, what's worked and what hasn't. Um, overall, homeschooling has been fantastic. I'm so, so thankful that I had this opportunity with my kids. I'm excited to do it again with them in the next school year. Uh, we are going to do like more of a year-round type of school, so we're not going to take a full break over the summer. We will break a little bit um, and maybe peel back some subjects and not do like full, like all 15 of them or whatever it is we're required to do in Ohio is ridiculous. But <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, but um, we're definitely gonna keep up with some school and just kind of stay in the rhythm of things over the summer. But um, yeah, I just have been absolutely loving it. I'm loving this time with them. I'm learning so much alongside of them and I just really, really enjoy it. I'm excited for Aria to be doing it with us more on a full-time basis next year. Right now she goes to preschool two days a week and that's been fine, but I'm ready for it to be done. She's ready for it to be done. We're just kind of, we're ready to just kind of be an official homeschool family all the way around and we're really excited for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Actually, I don't even care if you do or not, but um, you can subscribe if you like these kind of videos because I plan on posting more in the future, so long as my camera keeps working. Thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.